Next level wisdom is what we are looking at. Wisdom, child of God, is a spirit assessed by observation, information, education, and impartation that guarantees application in any given situation. Job 32 and verse 7 I said they should speak a multitude of years should teach wisdom. I thought wisdom is rooted in experience. I thought wisdom is rooted in expertise. I thought gray hair can deliver wisdom. But I discover verse 8 but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty give them understanding so wisdom is simply the law of God applied accurately to solve a problem to be without wisdom is to be without next level to be without wisdom is to be stagnated in life actually next level means next wisdom hear me sir living without wisdom is living in stagnation to exist without wisdom is to exist in poverty. To lack wisdom, hear me, is to exist in indebtedness. When there is the absence of wisdom, there is the presence of captivity. Captivity cannot be avoided where wisdom is lacking. When you see a man burning energy with that motion, it's a sign that wisdom is lacking. There are truths you need to know about wisdom, sir. Number one, every increase, every motion in life is a function of wisdom applied. Every increase, every motion in life is a function of wisdom applied. Sir, insight guarantees increase. If you don't know what to do with 5,000, you will not know what to do with 50 million. If you don't know what to do with 50,000, you will not know what to do when you have 100 million. Wisdom demands that you are able to manage the little you have. Don't forget my message of last week. Faithfulness in little, master over much. He gave some five talents, some two, some one. That one traded, brought five more. The other one traded, brought two more. That one went and hid it. That is the lack of wisdom. When you're, and the Bible said when the master came he took even that one he had and gave to him that has much so you have no right for increase until you are able to manage the little so wisdom demands that though your beginning may be small manage your smallness if you can't serve somebody well you can't be a boss you are not a good bachelor you can't be a good husband that is why I say bachelor enjoy your life now it is wisdom that guarantees real success. Number two thing you need to know about wisdom. Number two, your passion is the wisdom that reveals your next level. The season of your life will change every time you decided to master your passion. Anytime you master your passion, next level will manifest. It is wisdom, sir, to master your passion. Because your portion in life is inside your passion. Passion, sir, is a signpost to the next season of your life. Passion that you are having is a signpost that you are about to enter another season of your life. When you don't have a passion, it means you will be stagnated. Develop passion for something. Passion means excessive and uncommon desire. Men who move to the next level possess great passion for their assignments. No man of God moves to the next level that is not passionate about preaching, passionate about ministry, passionate about his assignment. No businessman moves from a thousandaire to a millionaire that is not passionate about his business. No footballer leaves Abba United, what do they call it? Iimba, and begins to play in Spain and in Europe who is not passionate about football. No musician move from analog singing to digital singing. Who is not passionate about singing? How do I know your passion? When you are obsessed about it. How do I know your passion? When you are crazy about it. What do I know about your passion? That you are passionate about something? When you use your whole heart and your life inside. 
you don't need to know that I am passionate about preaching. I preached three services this morning. I will preach one service in, in Guarimpa. Four services. Are you following what I'm saying here? And then sometimes after service, I'm doing another prayer. Passion. Tomorrow, Monday again, I am preaching. Passion. Tuesday, I am preaching. My flight will touch down by 7 o'clock straight to the altar on Tuesday to preach. Wednesday, I'm back to preach. Thursday, I'm flying again to preach. God punish the devil. There's a way you preach, you know you don't have a future. Because you are not passionate about how you preach. Shall we open MMM? The book of Philippi, sorry, book of Philomena. Um, the Bible said, I don't know whether it is in Matthew. Eh, eh, can somebody, is it Matthew or Mark or Luke? If I let's forget about it, we will try next time. Um, 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 Holy Ghost, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. You are finished. You won't go far. You won't go far. So, your passion will cost you everything. It is wisdom to be passionate about something. Hear me, sir. Passion is power. Passion is magnetic. Hear me. Passion is what you love to discuss. Passion is what you love to talk about. Passion is what excites you. It is a clue to your assignment. I can sit on Bible throughout. I like it. I like Bible too much. We finish. I will go back home and just on my remote. I am looking at gospel again. Thou shalt meditate on it day and night. Ask my daughter. We had to buy two decoders of DSTV. Because if it is DSTV, it must be on TBN. I have free, decoder, free to air decoder 54 channel. It must be on gospel. I must be there. When you like music, you are passionate about it. You play music all through. If you are an unbeliever, you play channel O till we are tired. She's scarlet and dancing in channel O everywhere. Sir, it took the obsession of Jesus to go to the cross. He was so obsessed about his assignment. That one man say you will not die. Say get thee behind me Satan. He was passionate ready to die. The top Paul, one man took his ghetto. And bind his hand and legs. Uh, what is it? That is my, that prophet name. Agabus. Agabus started. Susuna. Susuna. Susu. Thus says the Lord. The man with this ghetto. Shall be bound in Jerusalem in chains. And kept in prison for several years. He even mentioned the years. <laughs> They discovered that the ghetto is, in, is Paul's ghetto. The Bible said, and they plead there with Paul not to go. He said, why are you breaking my heart? I don't want to go lay in chain. I want to die. I wish I were dead that my people Israel may be saved. That was a cry. The guy was passionate. You touch him everywhere. Scriptures is coming out of that man. He was an embodiment of revelations. No wonder he made a success out of it. He came last, but he wrote more scriptures than everybody because he was passionate. Please treasure and protect the flow of your passion. Don't allow people to temper with your passion. Especially when you are passionate at the writing. Guide your focus. Every hour, every minute. Be ruthless at distraction. Be wicked to distraction. That wants to come on your passion. Trample on distraction and pass. Carry your passion with seriousness. Sir, passion is living a course. With all you got. Living a course with all you got. Your passion is a revelation of your future. When I see what you are passionate about. I will know whether you have a future or not. I prophesy to somebody. Wherever you are I declare. Receive grace to be passionate about your job. Do you know why that job can't give you food enough? It's because while you are there. You are taking. Is it not 4 o'clock? Is it not 4? Is it not 4? God never call you for a job. He call you for work. And work is your assignment. And be passionate about it. You will hit breakthroughs. You will hit breakthroughs. Women, let me show you the way to your husband's heart. Love what he loves and you have a future. If you love his job, put your head inside. Anything you are passionate about, it breaks forth. Stretch your hands. Is there anyone with a passion for something? A prophesy. Within 21 days, may your passion produce results. Amen. May your passion produce result. Amen. May your passion produce result. Let me hear that amen like a thunder. Amen.